welcome here, uh, whose work me and Hans has seen uh, uh, through uh, uh, mostly through Richard Rinaldi, who, who uh, was uh, exhibited here uh, early last year, and he showed us Eleanor's work, and we got intrigued by the way that you uh, portray your family and, and, and the way uh, the the upbringing of yourself and how you bring up your children and, and the way you, you uh, your family album. Uh, we're also happy to welcome Nathaniel Wyszynski, who, who is a freelance journalist and, and uh, a wife of US Ambassador Mark Wyszynski to inaugurate the exhibition. Thank you. Sister. I'm a little nervous, but uh, I've, been, I've been very excited to come here tonight and meet Eleanor because I was so personally moved by her photographs when I first saw them several months ago. Tonight's exhibit underscores the raw and rather mystifying process of having children and reflects what Eleanor described in an interview as the conflicting emotional states of motherhood, the relief and joy set against the exhaustion and the frustration. In the same interview, she candidly asserts that she was not at all prepared for motherhood. And I stand here before you, and I candidly assert that I was not at all prepared for motherhood either. <laughs> Having my daughter two years ago was one of the most empowering and also difficult periods of my life. I have felt my most inadequate and incompetent in my role as a mother, but also my most blissful and powerful. At first, this emotional instability was unsettling, but I soon realized that with the birth of a child, a new self is also born. And part of that new self will never belong to you again. It will always belong solely to that child. I know I'm still grappling to redefine who I am as a woman and a mother, but seeing Eleanor's story brought to life in her photographs really made me feel understood and part of something bigger. But this exhibit is not just for women or about being a mother or for mothers. It's about truth and courage. It takes an incredible strength of character and intellectual honesty to reveal oneself at one's weakest, most awkward and even most confused moments. And Eleanor has done that time and again. She exposes aspects that remain mostly behind closed doors in a frank and provocative manner and brings back a sense of centrality and intimacy to family. There's no right and wrong way to be a mother and there's no perfect template of family or what a family should be. But in a society that sometimes overemphasizes perfection and convention, Eleanor gives us a much needed dose of empathy and reality. In the end, one of my favorite things that Secretary Hillary Clinton always says is, it takes a village to raise a child. And I really believe we're all in this together. Eleanor, thank you for making this mother feel a little bit more confident and a great deal more hopeful. And I want to raise my glass to you. This is an incredible exhibit. Congratulations and skull. <laughs> okay, we also have an, an interview with uh, Eleanor in the little room here, uh, just to the left. And um, of course, you have Eleanor herself. But, but so. maybe Eleanor would, would like to say something yeah. about uh, Exhibition or the works? I mean, um, first, I really want to thank Hans, Olaf, and Natalia for thanks to you guys. I'm here, and, and my work is here in one of the most beautiful places in the world. Mm -hmm. um, it's really amazing to be here. Um, so, thank you for understanding my work um, and, and giving me this exposure here. And thank you so much. I'm still moved <laughs> by, by what you've said, so I need to come down and really thank you, you, Natalia. It was very hard. Um, this work is um, actually starting with uh, images from 1993, way before I was a mother, when I was inspired by my own mother, which is a lot in this room, 
and it goes through growing up, uh, leaving home, the home of my parents, um, and becoming a wife to my husband, Iran, who is then <laughs> videotaping me, because he can, he doesn't hear me enough in the last 19 years, never, he has to have a video, um, into my beautiful life with him, crises with him, and to the third room um, that shows the beginning of being a mother. Um, I, I, am, I have twins, they're a boy and a girl, and I'm going to photograph them. Um, I have been photographing them for seven and a half years of their lives, and I'll continue to photograph them. So this is the beginning of this work. And maybe in a few years it will be a book, and maybe I'll be here again. <laughs> no. <laughs> we hope so. <laughs> um, I've been photographing my life since I was 15. I'm photographing my family. Uh, I moved from Israel to New York in 95, where I'm teaching, shooting for magazines, and doing my own work. And I'll be happy to answer your questions or any anyone's questions and, and talk a little bit more about the work and thank you everyone for coming tonight it's really an honor <laughs>